Welcome to this beautiful Vermont day where I'd like to talk about uh, one of my latest articles. It's on True North, True North Reports and it's actually about a national issue which is gain of function research. Gain of function research is research that's been going on for a number of years which tries to take a naturally uh, deadly pathogen or virus and genetically modify it to make it much more either deadly or transmissible between humans. It's called gain of function research or GOF. Now this has been going on for some years. And what's evident now is that this has been funded by the United States government, we taxpayers. Um, and this is none of this is wacko stuff. I'm I, everything I'm referring to in this article is from mainstream me media, The Lancet, BBC, uh, Wall Street Journal, or Vanity Fair magazine. All the quotes are there. I suggest you read the stories and find out that you know this disease came from uh, a mine in China where they had some people die, and so they went and found it and studied all the different bat feces until they could find out of all the thousands of viruses that one that could be the deadliest. And then in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, funded with United States tax dollars, they developed it and it escaped. And then they covered it up because as you can see, it would make them look very bad if they knew that that came out. And that would, that would hurt all their funding for their research. Whereas if it was attributed to people in markets as it was, okay, read the Vanity Fair piece, it's really disgraceful. Um, then that would justify more money for more research of gain of function research. So my question is in my article, why are we doing, especially now that we have let this horrible monster COVID out of the Pandora's box, why are we still even considering doing this anymore? And hasn't it, why has uh, President Biden not halted gain of function research? And why has he not fired Dr. Anthony Fauci for lying to Congress and avidly swearing that no U.S. money went to funding this kind of research. It's a lie, and we now know after the fact that it's all a lie. Is there any accountability, and will our government prevent this happening again? There's no justification for this research, and that's where I discuss it, and I point to the articles uh, that say so. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you'll read the article and find out more in detail of just how terrifying this is. Uh, I, nobody's alleging this was deliberate by the Chinese to release it, but there's a collaboration to create things that are very, very dangerous, and maybe we should rethink that. Thanks for uh, considering that issue with us and for enjoying this beautiful day. Remember, nothing's sweeter than Vermont liberty.